hello you guys welcome or welcome back to our channel in today's video i thought that i can take you guys through how you make masamba or dendela in just under 10 minutes i know right if this is a video for you please be sure to stay and watch till the end and as always be sure to like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in the course of the video the first thing that you guys are going to need is to chop up your vegetables. For this recipe, I was using a kale vegetable. So if you're in Malawi, rape or mbiru should do the trick. As you guys can also see, I really cut my vegetables in huge chunks. I included the stem together with the leaves because I just feel like it just makes the vegetables nice and crunchy. The flavors are even good. So remember to add those in there. This apron that I was wearing in this video was sent over to me by a brand called Kibebe. They are produced by some women in one of Malawi's refugee camps and all profits gained from these aprons are sent directly to support them. Jumping back into our video, go ahead and add a very small amount of water in a pot which we will use to cook the vegetables. Next, add in your raw salt and allow everything to boil for about two minutes before going ahead with your veggies. As you guys can see in the demonstration, we squeezed as much vegetables as we could in this tiny little pot child. And you can do the exact same thing. Cover everything up with a lid and allow to cook for the next four minutes before we move on to the next step. Once your four minutes is over, you'll need to give your vegetables a nice good stir. Allow it to simmer a little bit more and then finally go and add in your fresh, beautifully chopped tomatoes. After the tomatoes, you want to go ahead and add your nsinjilo right on top. And nsinjilo is simply ground nut powder, which I'm pretty sure you can find at your nearest convenience stores or markets within Africa. If you don't find them, then just buy yourself some fresh ground nuts and blend it in a blender and you should have sinjulo like homemade sinjulo it's just ground nut powder like i mentioned before please do not sting add in as much as you feel is necessary because that's really the contendela that you need for this recipe it's been about another five minutes at this point and as you guys can see things were boiling together pretty well but we kind of needed some more water because it got a little bit too pasty so don't be afraid to add in water as you go along depending on the consistency that you want and that's exactly what we did and after this we gave everything a very beautiful stir like we stirred honey we stirred for a couple of minutes and after three minutes your vegetables should be good to go that simple guys you can thank me later. This brings us to the end of this recipe video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, be sure to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.